directly on your notebook cover if it's sturdy, but mine is thin, shiny and has a print, so I'm going to work on drawing paper. I'm measuring how big it has to be and I'm cutting it to the right size. For this technique, you can use drinking straws or a pipette. I'm using inks, but you can also use any type of paint. Add dishwashing soap and stir, then test if you can make bubbles. If you can, your mixture is ready. You want to create bubbles on your paper. straws but you have very little control over what your bubbles will look like so I prefer using a pipette. Let it dry overnight. Now you want to glue your artwork to your notebook cover. I'm using a Bison Universal Stick because it's super glue, which will make it really sturdy. beautiful post-it notes, but I don't like to waste them, so I came up with a neat trick to use them over and over again. Line up your post-it notes on the inside of your notebook cover. Then cut a self-adhesive clear plastic film to the size of your page. Stick your post-it notes where you want them and to make it easier to stick the film on later, I'm using glue dots to keep the non-sticky parts of the post-it notes in place. Finally, lay the film on top of the post-it notes and remove any air bubbles. Use a chalk marker to write onto your post-it notes. You will not wipe what you wrote off by accident, but it's easy to remove by wiping with a damp cloth. These googly eyes page markers are so much fun and so simple to make. All you have to do is glue your favorite colors of googly eyes to paper clips with a hot glue gun. And that is it. Isn't this a fun way to mark important pages in your notebook? 